Hello and welcome to another edition of the Bibliophiles. Today I'm going to be talking about The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. The setting is it starts it's um like there's before there's uh, this apocalypse thing that's never really explained that um but after the United States falls and in in its place comes the country of Pan Am which is uh, the capital surrounded by 13 districts. And one day there's this big rebellion. Uh, 12 of the, the districts were suppressed and taken down. The 13th one was supposedly destroyed completely. And as punishment, each of the districts have to tribute one boy and one girl in between the ages of 12 and 18 so they can... Uh, fight to the death in the Hunger Games. Are there, like I said, uh, where they have the Hunger Games, where they have to fight to the death until there, in the end, there can only be one winner. <clears throat> anyway, um, then we get to the seventy-fourth Hunger Games, and the current, which is the current one, and we have our main character Katniss. Who's you know participating and so forth and look at see I really like the book because uh, you know the characters are memorable the story is interesting and um, you know I found it was just a very well written but then there's the movie which is the reason why I'm talking about this or the reason why I know about the book anyway and. Well, I, I, I read the book before the movie, and I did not like the movie because, well, there's just so much in the book that was just left out. A couple, an example is um, uh, Katniss's dad. In the book, early on, we established that it was, her father taught her how to hunt and survive out in the wild. Um, he taught her how to, he gave her all the contacts and in the in district 13 so she could sell meat and so meat and meat and to the like squirrel meat to the bakers and strawberries and to the mayor's daughter and meat to the and deer meat and so forth to the peacekeepers so they can overlook her illegal hunting of outside the district and like what what and because of all those connections that Katniss has, everyone gives her the, you know, that three-fingered salute thing or whatever. <clears throat> but in the movie, all he gets is, uh, you know, like one line where they say that he died and a hallucination flashback where we see, like, I guess it's him you know, stepping into the mines and going down, then you see like an off screen explosion and you know, that that's it. And of course there's the character Rue. In the book Katniss um goes to Rue for the alliance because Rue reminds Katniss of her sister Prim and we see um them talking about where they're from and then they get the idea to you know go out and destroy the careers food supply and but then you know it all good but in the movie you know it's just you know Katniss wakes up out of a drug hallucination thing um, the um, you know you find that Rue helped her for as far as we can tell, no reason at all, and um, you know, like we're just, and then they decide, hey, let's destroy the the food supply of the people in the capital. I mean, the of the careers, and like that's it. And by the time who dies, it's I guess it's supposed to be sad and stuff, but. By this, but in the movie, like we we know nothing about her character, so why should we be sad or anything? Like, 
it's sad in the book, but in the movie it's like, so what? We know nothing about this character. And they're throwing rights over this girl? Why? Uh, it's the 74th Hunger Games. You know, these people have already seen hundreds of their children die in this whole thing. And only now they're throwing rights and so and stuff. You know, I, I'm not saying they wouldn't be sad, but you'd think they'd be kind of used to it. <clears throat> um, but, so, yeah, there's just so much that was in the... It was just a couple examples. There's so much... There's a lot more that was in the book that was just left out. But, in, even though... Um, <clears throat> Like I, d I didn't like it, but I can recognize there there are some good. There, there's a lot of good in there too. Like the acting was good, and it does a good job of. Uh, they do a good job of creating atmosphere, uh, like District Twelve and the uh, Capitol, and how they contrast with each other. The satiring reality TV, making fun of that. <clears throat> So I can recognize there's some good stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that just ruined it for me personally. So, in the end, like, <clears throat> the book I give 5 out of 5. I, I loved it. But the movie I only give, like, 3 out of 5. Like, I didn't like it. I did not like it, but I can recognize that there was some good stuff. And I can see how other people would like it and enjoy it. Even even if I did even if I didn't. So there's my opinion on the Hunger Games, at least as far as the first book goes. I'm definitely gonna be looking for the second and third book. <clears throat> anyway, until next time, I'm the bibliophile Jordan telling you all to read a book, or in this case, read the book. <clears throat>